Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here off chain. I have a question that was presented to me. Uh, what happens when the mining reward goes out? Um, that is, uh, the currently it's 12 and a half bitcoins that a miner gets every 10 minutes uh, for finding a block, finding a proof of work. What happens when that runs out? Uh, now, it's not anytime soon. It's going to run out in 2140. But it is a concern because uh, mining reward uh, halves every four years. So in two years, it will be 6.25. Uh, in six years, it will be 3.125. And in 10 years, it will be 1.55625, something like that. It, 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 gets, it gets lower and lower and lower. Um, so at a certain point, fees need to be sustaining. And if you don't know, fees are uh, part of a transaction. It's so what you give to the miner. The miner has the right to take that as bitcoins. Um, and uh, and that's what we're what a fee market is. It's figuring out. Okay, we we have all this money. Uh, you know that that is being given in fees. Is that enough to incentivize miners to continue mining? Um, right now, it's subsidized by the block reward, uh, the, and the question is, uh, will will it uh, develop? Will the fee market develop enough so that you will have, uh, you know, enough incentivization of the miners to continue mining? And that's a that's a really cool question, and and it, it it's uh, coupled with price quite a bit, because if Bitcoin's a hundred thousand uh, dollars, one one Bitcoin's a lot of money. Uh, but if Bitcoin is like a thousand dollars, then you know suddenly it's a, it, it's not as attractive. And that said, there there are sort of uh, you know considerations uh, of you know mining technology getting better. Uh, right now we're getting uh, you know 15 terahertz from an Antminer S9. Uh, it's possible that we can get like the same performance uh, for much cheaper later on, um, and that's almost certainly going to be the case because. Uh, you know, Bitcoin is pushing that art much, uh, that art forward. Uh, but yeah, it, it's uh, it's something that uh, that a lot of devs are watching closely. A lot of people are watching closely, uh, more more out of curiosity than anything else. Also, to, just to see, you know, what what the fees are going to be. Right now, they're very very low. Um, unlike December, when it was really high, and there was a point at which. Uh, you know, uh, fees on a normal fees on a block and not like a mistake or something ended up being greater than the mining reward. So it was like 13 bitcoins and fees and 12 and a half in mining reward for a total of like 25 and a half. So um, that does happen uh, once in a while, especially when there's a lot of fee pressure. Question is, how, how's the market going to react when, when all of that stuff happens? Um, my gut feeling is that the market will figure it out. If um, you might not get quite as much security, in which case you need um, more confirmations, which means that you might have to wait longer. And that's OK, because because uh, if you have something like a lightning network node running, then you can get settlement really quickly through that. And uh, and you only wait a long time for the really big purchase items or for settling a lightning uh, network transaction or something like that, and that that's uh, that's sort of the vision of the future, um, as opposed to just you know increasing the block size forever and letting uh, the fees uh, continue to stay low. I mean, at, at some point, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to incentivize them enough with the mining award. So, um, you know, the, I mean, there there's some pressure there. Like, how do you keep, if you if your goal is to keep the fees low, then at some point you're going to have to inflate the currency. So. And that's that's not good at all because that that makes it no longer sound money. So, um, you know that that's my thought on that. Uh, but yeah, that that's what happens when you run out of fees, and that's something to think about. Um, so hopefully, this explains it to you in a way that you can understand. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's end that.